How's it going video game lovers welcome back one more time to Wii Video Games and today I got another collection video this is probably my last collection video for um, my whole collection um, well actually one more uh, I got the Xbox one but um, it's really small right now so I'm not really sure if I should um, wait till the collection is bigger or um, maybe I could just go ahead and, and show what I have uh, but this time, I mean, I, I'm not sure how many of you are interested, but this time we have a PC game collection. So, um, you know, I decided to go through my whole collection, uh, divide it into different consoles. And this, apart from the Xbox One, which is really small, is the, uh, the last one. So, um, yeah, why not? I mean, let's show it to you guys. Um, if you grew up with, um, with PCs and um, if you play video games on the PC, then stick around. Uh, before we get started, please remember to hit the like button, comment, share, and of course subscribe. We are almost 30. <laughs> That's really good, guys. Thanks so much to the ones that have um, subscribed. And uh, without further ado, let's get this video rolling. We start off with um, Spore. I'm not going to comment much on games because, you know, I want to do this really quick. I mean, it's just PC games, but... That's the first one, and this is the uh, Galactic Edition, you can see, big box. Cheryl Holmes uh, double pack, Cheryl Holmes and the Silver Earring, and Cheryl Holmes, Holmes versus Jack the Ripper. Cheryl Holmes versus Jack the Ripper is an amazing game, I finished it. By Chuck, the uh, PC version, in the Steelbook. Age of Empires Collector's Edition. It has uh, Age of Empires 1 and 2 and um, some DLC. Amazing. Uh, Machinarium. Machinarium. The Witcher Enhanced Edition. This is the Witcher one. This is the best... Um, way to play the the Witcher 1 The Sims 3 which I played a lot The Sims 3, this is the alternative cover Fallout, the first Fallout I mean, I, I love the franchise and um, you know, I had to play all of them and game number 1 is very good the movies Sim City 4 which I think is my favorite Sim City game I am alive I remember back in the days this game promised a lot um, but it wasn't as good as I expected it to be The Elder Scrolls Morrowind a legendary game Hotel Giant 2 One of my favorite games of all time and definitely my favorite civilization game is Civilization 5 But um, this is Bra the Brave New World so this is the um, This is an incredible game. I played this game. I put so many hours into this game guys. I was uh, mostly a um, console gamer but some of these games that you can only play on the PC, man. I had to play them. Uh, Civilization 4 Complete Edition. So Civilization 4 is not as good as 5, but uh, an amazing game nevertheless. The Sims 2 Deluxe. Uh, Sid Meier's uh, Civilization 4 Colonization Another Civilization 5 but this is the normal game without the DLC Amazing game man. Circus World Circus World Civilization 2 Test of Time So this is a Classic game. 
World Dida Geopolitical Simulation. I haven't played that game. I mean, but you guys know I love strategy games, so you shouldn't be surprised if you find a lot of strategy games here. Two copies of Skyrim. One is a bit um, old, and the other one is uh, in better condition. One of the best games of all time. No doubt. Sim City Societies. Also a good game. And you want kids brain games. The Sims 2. Legends of Atlantis Exodus. It's like a pawn and click game. It's good to uh, pass your time, I guess. The Sims 2 Double Deluxe. So if you're gonna get the Sims 2 on PC, this is the this is the one to get. A sealed copy of um, Puzzle Adventure. This is by Capcom. Another copy of Sim City Society. Far, Ca uh, Far, Ca <laughs> Far Cry Primal. Which um, which I love. Yeah. GTA San Andreas and the mods that you can put in this game on PC are just amazing so that's um GTA San Andreas is probably my favorite game of all time yeah probably one day I'm gonna go through my favorite games of all time and it's probably gonna be that one Age of Mythology uh, and Age of Mythology the Titans expansion which um, I believe is an amazing game as well. The Settlers 2. An interesting game. One of my favorite games of all time on PC. Well, I mean on consoles, but this time on PC is Resident Evil 3. Which is actually going up in price on um, the PC game. Um, PC games are not that expensive. Most of them. But uh, this one is getting hard to find, so um, I'm glad I have it because I love it. The Sims 4, which I don't think is as good as uh, number 3. And City Life 2008 edition. That's the first pile. Uh, we've got a few, a few games actually. It's a decent collection. We continue with um, Toy Story 3. Actually, let me move this over here. There you go. That way I got more space here. Toy Story 3. Which, by the way, amazing game. World of Warcraft the Big box War of Warcraft the Burning Crusade Guys I play uh, WoW quite a bit uh, back in the day but I didn't play it as much as many people did um, It wasn't really um, my go-to um, MMORPG uh, I actually used to play a French uh, MMORPG called Dofus which is not very common in um, in um, you know in the United States or, or even Australia but in um, Latin America and Europe it's very famous so that's the one I used to play Cities XL um, Good game. Age of Empires 2 Gold Edition. A very good game. Battle of Mage Sign of Darkness. I love these um these boxes. I just love them so much. Call of Duty Warfare uh, Modern Warfare 2. It. 
Tropico 3. A very good game. Uh, Company of Heroes. Some of these games I only paid two dollars for, which is um, it's great. I mean, I understand that PC games are not so after by a lot of people, but two dollars? Come on, what a steal! Rome, Total War. This is a very good game. I love strategy games, and it's probably the main reason why I play PC games because of the strategy games on it. Enemy Territory, Quake Wars. That cover looks so cool, man. Gotta love it. Special Forces Edition, Empire Total War. Published by Sega. And another strategy game. A sealed copy of Patrician 4 Gold Edition. I love PC games, I love the strategy, talking about great games, and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Amazing. Continuing with amazing games, The Old Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Look at that, that's a beautiful game if you ask me. Beautiful box. Medal of Honor Pacific Assault. Not my favorite Medal of Honor, but the box is amazing. The Sims Deluxe Edition, this is number one. And uh, having it in this uh, box is actually cool because I can't find it anywhere anymore. Enter the Matrix. There you go, long box, two disc. And Icewind Dale, the Ultimate Collection. Huge box, as you can see. Very big. Amazing artwork. And that is that pile. That was a very good amount of games. Let's continue this way. We got Flight Simulator X, which is also an amazing game, and we got the uh, Flight Simulator X Acceleration Expansion Pack. So yeah, they belong together. We have another Warcraft, and this time it's War uh, War Warcraft uh, Warlords and um, of Draenor. World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lynch King. Man, I only played WoW uh, for a few months, so I'm not really uh, an expert on it. Call of Duty 2. Uh, this is Call of Duty uh, United Offensive. The, uh, the box is a bit beat up, but it's all in there. Uh, Call of Duty Game of the Year. I personally love the classic um, Call of Duty games. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm really, glad. I'm really glad I have them in my collection. I actually believe that they are better than the modern ones, but it's just my opinion. Age of Empires 2 Gold Edition. This is a second copy. Of it. Call of Duty Black Ops. The Sims 2. Rise of Nations, which um, I find it to be a very, very good game. Call of Duty Fall for Modern Warfare. More Modern Warfare. Oh God, what's happening to me today? I'm just gonna leave him like that. Who cares? Halo Two. I mean, nothing to say about this game. Amazing. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three. 
Anno 1404, which is a, it's a good game. A huge box, Supreme Commander Collector's Edition. This is complete. It has some really cool stuff inside. And finally, with an even bigger box, is a Call of Duty World at War. This is a huge box, and it only cost me two dollars, so I can't really complain. All right, we're almost at the end. We're gonna go through the big box um, PC games, and we start off with um, Hostile Waters Anti Antius Racing. This is a very big box. War of Warcraft, more, we got more, this is a bit heavy, so this is the, um, the battle, like a, look at this, this is a big collection, has all the games, so, um, mm -hmm. anything, mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, box this is amazing age of empires the original one look at that still got the plastic on the original plastic it's been open at the top but it still has the plastic b17 flying fortress the mighty eight Master of Orion 3 Big box game Dick Johnson VA Challenge Racing game with Dick Johnson Put this here oh, There you go <laughs> War of Warcraft 2 Reign of Chaos These boxes are too big, uh, look at me, I'm disappearing from the screen War of Warcraft um, The Frozen Throne I love the way they look, these uh, big box games, they look amazing Rainbow Six uh, cover ups. Medal of Honor, uh, Ally Assault. This box looks amazing. Forgotten Battles. This is the uh, Eagle 2. Forgotten Battles. And finally, to complete the whole collection, Viet Cong. That's it, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around. We went through all these PC games, which I don't know how many. I, there should be more than a hundred, right? There should be more than a hundred here. Um, like I said, I wasn't really. Uh, I was a uh, more of a console gamer, but you know, more strategy games um, that you can get into in in the consoles or you know, back in the day, they now they releasing a lot of uh, strategy games on the consoles. But back in the day, uh, the only way to play them was on um, PC. So, um, yeah, I play many of these on PC. And uh, to this day, I still love a few of them, especially when they are strategy games. So, hope you really enjoyed that. This was my um, my last collection in my whole collection. So, I'm really sad that um, that's over. However, I'll be thinking about uh, showing my Xbox 360 collection. It's not that big. But I want to remake my PS2 collection. Um, I'm thinking the best way to do that. So what I'm thinking is, um, I don't know if it's a good idea to go through the whole collection, uh, just really quick, showing every game, or, uh, because I don't know if you've seen my PS2 video game collection, but it was recorded, uh, I don't know, it doesn't look right, like, it looks the other way, it looks like it has a mirror effect. Um, you know, I was new, I didn't know what I was doing, so... 
I may think about doing that in the future. Or what I could do is I could show my whole collection really quick and then I can remake maybe at the end of the, this year uh, the whole collection again showing you guys the games. Um, I'll think about that. I'll probably work on some other top 10 and so on. Uh, I'll see. But thanks so much for sticking around again. Please hit the like button, comment, share, and of course subscribe to my channel. Um, today's not my day. <laughs> uh, subscribe to the channel. We're almost uh, 30. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, we'll keep growing <laughs> slowly, but we'll get there. And um, thanks so much. One day, if I do get to 100 subscribers, one day, maybe in 100 years, one subscriber per year. Um, if I do get to 100, um, I'll probably do some uh, Q&A or something like that. So you guys get to know me better. Anyway, thanks so much for uh, sticking around. And hope you have a nice day. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care.